The role of functions. Now, not all of us are wizards at math, and the more intricate that math becomes, the harder it can be to come up with the right formula to perform the calculations we need to get. Thankfully, Excel provides a special tool called functions to assist us. Think of functions as pre-programmed formulas provided to cover hundreds of the most common as well as some of the most complex situations you may face in working with your data, ranging from the financial to the scientific and beyond. For example, there is a payment function that helps you compute payments based on the term of a loan or other type of financial contract. There are also ones to cover statistical work, database work, logical and information work, and more. You'll find a number of different ways you can find out about what functions are available and what they do. For example, an excellent source of additional help for you is going to be through the Excel's online help feature. For example, you type something like formula or argument and you'll find a great deal of information here. But you can also use the insert function option near the formula bar. That's this. Click on it and you'll see that the screen tip tells you it's insert function and a window opens that will allow you to get specific information. Here, because I've got an average in this particular worksheet, it's coming up for function arguments for the average function. Normally, too, let me point out something else. Besides clicking the insert function button near the formula bar, you can also click in any cell on the sheet and press shift plus your F3 key on your keyboard and you'll also see the same window that you see when you click insert function. We'll be talking more about this as we go along. You'll also see that as useful as functions are, they will still need your assistance in the form of specific information about the terms or other conditions that you were trying to calculate. These are provided in the form of an argument. Arguments are always framed by parentheses. For example, here we've got a function the equal sign tells us that this is a formula. Average is one of the functions included in Excel. And here, within the parentheses, is the argument. And here we've got a range of data that we're using for our argument. And remember, it's contained within the parentheses. Arguments can be numbers. They can be text. They can be logical values, such as true or false. They can be error values, such as NA, or not available, or not applicable. Or they can be cell references. However, the argument you designate must produce a valid value for that argument. Arguments can also be constants, and we discussed those in an earlier tutorial in this chapter, or arguments can be formulas or other functions. You'll also sometimes hear the word array referred to in conjunction with formulas and functions. What are arrays? Well, an array is something used to build single formulas that produce multiple results or that operate on a group of arguments that are arranged into rows and columns. There are also different types of arrays. For example, an array range shares a common formula, while an array constant is a group of constants that are used as part of an argument. Again, you're going to learn more about these when we reach the chapter on formulas and calculations.